Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we are going to talk about Ray Gunn, the Australian breakdancer who has changed sports forever, and I believe has also changed any human effort at, um, any human effort. I think she's, cha- I don't think it's enough to say she's changed sports forever. It's she's changed human effort and how human effort should be viewed forever. And how Ray Gunn, the breakdancer from the Olympics this year, really fundamentally changes human, how we view human activity going forward. She is, uh, so let's jump into this. So first of all, Ray Gunn won the Olympics. Like she, she uh, took home zero medals and she was given zero points by the judges. But she, I think there's more talk about Ray Gunn than literally every Olympic athlete combined, right? I did not know a single Olympian's name before I knew Ray Gunn's name. In fact, and, and so someone I, I love, you know, was like, well, wait a second, you know about Simone Biles? And I was like, Simone who now? Right? And she was like, you know, that, that girl that competed in the last Olympics and then like stopped in the middle of her co- competition and then returned this year and did better. And I was like, oh yeah, I think I remember. I remember. So she competed this year. Did she do okay? Well, like, it was just like, but I cannot stop watching coverage of uh of Reagan. All right. Now, let's talk about that, okay? Because we do need to talk about something. So, I have not seen the majority of Reagan's performance, okay? So, you're like, "Well, wait a second. If you haven't seen her the whole the whole dance routine, how could you possibly be say that she's completely changed how we should view human effort?" Well, here's why, right? So, first of all, I applause to the Olympics for making sure that their content is only on, you know, platforms where you you have to pay for it. And I did not pay to watch the Olympics. The Olympics interrupted my every my my day every day when it would f- come into my YouTube scrolling stream or when I would put on my PlayStation 4 and I'd have to look at some, you know, some Olympian Olympic athlete doing some ridiculous sport or like yeah, like well, not even a ridiculous sport. I just I, I have beef with the Olympics. Steph Curry and LeBron James playing, you know, amateurs. Like, I don't... I really ain't down with the Olympics, right? But I wasn't until Ray Gunn completely changed my mind, right? All right, so... How, so... she And this is the thing. Lots of good athletes, good air quotes. Like, clearly, I think every Olympian, every single Olympian is subjugated to the dominance of Ray Gunn at this point. Ray Gunn is clearly the best Olympic athlete that has ever competed in any Olympics. And the reason why is she got better than gold. She got all the attention. She is the she even made me forget about the scandal that happened at the beginning, right? Like she has captured the eyes of the whole world with her performance, right? And everyone wanted, and everybody wanted to see her performance more than they wanted to see Simone Biles suddenly deciding to finish her competition. Like, you know, come on, like Simone Biles is not an athlete at the level of Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn is a 36 year old academic who has redefined how human effort should be viewed. All right, okay. So let's get there, right? So basically, so, Ray Gunn, so why is, and, and, and this is the point, like, nobody was looking up Simone Biles, like, to watch her competition. Every person on the planet, I think, was like, oh, man, I got to see this. And the Olympics were like, you didn't pay the $80 a month to get YouTube TV. You can't see this. And everybody was like, well, can I see three seconds of it? And they're like, yes. And everybody was like, ooh, <laughs> that is unique. <laughs> that is special. That is that is some breaking <laughs> like like or is it or is it breaking is it something else has it transcended breaking right like and that's just for three seconds i haven't even seen everything she's done 
I have not been able to see her entire performance, right? Which makes me even more convinced that the level of attention this woman has gotten is is because she is not just a good breaker. She is literally the best Olympic athlete that has ever competed in any Olympics, ever, right? And so how and why? Okay, so let's get there. Okay, thanks for your patience. Here's why. So basically our world is cut is split into the intangible world and the tangible world, right? And all these all these regular, you know, bog standard uh, you know, bog standard athletes are like, "Oh, I'm going to, you know, get a bunch of muscles and do the thing," right? That that is tired and played out, right? Oh, win. Uh, win. Who needs that? right? Getting zero points. That's the true win, right? So here's what she did, right? She, so first of all, she defeated every B girl in Australia and she's a 36 year old academic. Now, how did she do that? She didn't do it with conventional skills, right? There is a very talented B girl in, um, in Australia who could dance way, break dance, way better than Raygun, way better, right? Like, you know, the conventional moves, you know, swinging your legs around and, you know, gyrating your hips, whatever, you know, B girls do, right? Like, and B boys do, right? She conventionally was much better. Her conventional skills were much better than Raygun. So how did Raygun defeat her? Well, Raygun is the only B girl on the planet who actually knows what breaking is. Breaking is an infrastructural connection and explanation of colonialism. And Raygun wrote an academic paper about this. And the reason she won uh, the, the Australian Olympic selection for breaking and is because she under, she's the only person on the planet who understands what breaking is intangibly and then has converted that to tangible action, right? So everyone else didn't really have an understanding of what the infrastructure, the actual base nature of breaking was. So no one in the world can beat her at breaking because what she's doing is she is doing breaking at its intangible explained level. No one understood breaking before Ray Gun broke, right? And so what she's doing is she's coming forward and she is exposing breaking as a colonial infrastructure connection. She's, she is presenting breaking as an exploration of, of colonialism. I 100% agree with her. I think that has unlocked her performance and has made her the most famous, most epic, most talented Olympic athlete that has ever been born, right? Because she did more than compete in the sport she was in, she literally explained it to the world because she understood it, right? And so wh where will we see this next? Well, you know, Usain Bolt is gonna get up there to run the 100, 100 meter dash. And I think, you know, the next ray gun will show up with a, a 7-Eleven Slurpee and walk their corgi, right, in the 100 meter dash and wave to people along the sidelines. What are they saying about 100 meter dash? I don't know yet, but that person will be the next ray gun and saying, winning is not the best that can be achieved. Explaining is the best that can be achieved. I believe that ray gun has told the world, it's not enough to do a thing if you don't understand what it is. You have to understand what it is at its base nature, and then you have to, to convert your intangible understanding to tangible action. That is the new form of human effort. And because of that, because she was able to do this and say winning is, is secondary, explaining the intangibles of a thing is the most important thing that could possibly happen anywhere in any human activity, not just sports. Ray Gunn is the best Olympic athlete that's ever been born. Mike Phelps is a bog standard loser compared to Ray Gunn, right? Completely forgettable. Ray Gunn is the future of human effort. I am extremely impressed with Ray Gunn. She is a new personal champion to me. I abs I think she, you know, and, and I can't wait to see her in 2028. And you're like, wait a second, 
it's breaking ain't going to be in 2028. It sure as heck is, because I'm telling you right now, I'm making the first official request. Bring Ray Gunn back. We have to see her compete again, and we need to give the, those judges a chance to correct their ridiculous foolishness and give her all the points. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion on Ray Gunn and her history-making Olympic athletic performance. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.